So hello and welcome to the Computer Lab. So in today's video, I'm going to take in a look at the Akasa USB Type-C 14-in-1 dock. Model number is AK-CBCA28-18BK. And Akasa were kind enough to send me this across for review. They're not paying me at all for looking at this, but they did send me this free of charge. And incidentally, um, I will put a affiliate link, which will be this dock in the description box below, which basically means if you buy through that, you shouldn't pay any more, but I get a small kickback in the profit if you do buy through that link. So all that being said, let's have a look and see what we get in the box. Okay, so we get the usual destructions, as you can see here. And again, I will blow these up and put them on the screen a bit later on in the video so you can get a clearer look at uh, what it exactly says on here. Got the multiple different languages. Um, obviously, I'm going to be doing this in English, so I'll put the English versions in the side and bottom. Uh, so you can see the spread of the different connections. Like I said, it's got 14 different connections. Interestingly, on this one, it's also got VGA as well as a couple of HDMI outs on it. It's got USB-Cs, USB-As, um, and also an Ethernet port, which is really good for myself. It does work on both Mac and Windows. Again, that's brilliant for me, so all, all good there. So it comes in this little rubberized bag with little dongles on it, as you can see there, which is handy just to keep the scratches off. And it comes in this uh, this one that they sent me. It's in this sort of matte gray finish, which matches the MacBook Pro. Got a little rubber protector on the actual USB-C connection. So I'll just take that off. So as you can see, USB-C uh, with a small fly lead, and we'll just give that a quick measure just to see what length it is. So it's about 7 inch the fly lead that comes out of the 14 uh, in 1 hub. And let's just measure the body while we're at it, just for as a matter of course. So it looks like it's about 6 inch in length. So not too obtrusive at all. Um, handy if you uh, just want to put it next to your desktop, or even like I would probably be using it on the MacBook Pro to one side. So like I said earlier, it's got the VGA uh, output on the end here. And it's also got uh, an Ethernet connection, which really helps me out because I like to use wired where I can. And that's running at 10 slash 100 slash 1000. So you get a gigabit uh, Ethernet connection on the end of it. If I just flip it around to the other side, we've got the uh, free USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports. And just next to that, we've got the USB 2 Type A port. And we've also got the SD card and the micro SD slot just on the right hand side, just there. So, yeah, these are the uh, 3.2s, which you get three of them. And like I said, that's the uh, USB 2 Type A. You also get a audio jack on the same end that the fly leads on. And then on this far side here, you've got the two USB-Cs. One's labeled PD, one is labeled data. You've got the USB-A uh, Type-A port, USB 2. And you've got two HDMI outs, which incidentally, obviously, you can use either the HDMIs or the VGA, like we pointed out earlier. So you've got three different options for connecting external screens. The unit itself, obviously, the fly lead folds in, and it is um, a quite a handy size with it being only that six inch sort of in length. You can sort of fold the lead over drop it into the uh, rub rubberized bag that they supply, pull the strings close like that and just pop it into your bag and stops it getting scratched and also stops it, it scratching uh, your laptop that might be in your carry bag or rucksack that you're using to transport your device. And I just wanted just to cover these two USB-C ports just a little bit more in detail. This PD-1 and the data one, the PD-1 is labeled, the caster got it labeled as 60 watt maximum. Uh, so you can pass your uh, power delivery port through there whilst you've got another thing plugged into the side just like so. So you can have another device plugged in whilst your charger is on the left hand, the power delivery one there. Uh, so it's handy that you left the two ports there. You can like be charging whilst you're using all your other ports uh, on this 14 in one Acasa hub. Okay, so let's get the other screen on and we'll do a couple of speed tests on micro SD cards in a second. Uh, one of the um, things that I was slightly disappointed with, there is no LED that tells you once you've got it plugged in or anything plugged into the charging port once you pass it through. For example, my anchor one, this one here, uh, I know it's got the two ports which, which work basically locks up both of them ports on the left hand side where this Acasa only has one. But if I was charging um, through the PD, um, and then obviously something plugged into my data, it'd be nice if there was a light that came on to tell me that was happening. Uh, the uh, other hub that I've got, a little LED does come on to say you're connected. So that's unfortunate, but it, it works fine all the same. Like I say, you do have the Ethernet on the end here. If you wanted to 
connect uh, via a Cat5 or Cat6 cable into there, uh, and that is one gigabit. Uh, normally, I'd use that little dongle, but obviously, um, this little dongle now can go to one side because I can use this uh, port, which has it all built in, even for my extra screens. So I'm going to be using a SD card. I'm going to do two tests. I'm going to use a um, Class 1 uh, SanDisk Ultra SD card. And I'm just going to transfer a 4.25 gigabyte file uh, from the card onto my machine. You see the little micro SD card on there. I will do a test with that one uh, just to see if they're both uh, or similar speeds because I think we'll probably be restricted by the speed of the cable and not uh, anything else or the speed of the hub, should I say. So let's pull up the screen and let's um, drag this file across. So, like I said, the file I'm going to be using is a 4.25 gigabyte uh, file. It's just a video file. And I'm just going to drag it from one window to the other and then just put a stopwatch on as we do that. So you can see how quick it takes. So I'll drag it across and then we should get an approximate time how long this file takes. Now, when I've done this in testing, it's been about the 40, uh, 45 second mark. Um, for this particular file and you can see there that we're ticking away quite nicely so it's compared to what these machines like I used to have a Surface Pro that would take forever to transfer files from an SD card onto the Surface um, since I've been using the MacBook obviously I've been using a card reader and it's mostly been the Anchor one um, so uh, but they both run at the similar speeds uh, I think this uh, CASA um, uh, like I said should be pretty quick because it's running on the USB type C. You can see it's nearly finished now. And it looks like it's going to be about the 45 second mark. Yeah, so approximately 45 seconds for a 4.25 gigabyte file. Um, and that was from a class one SD card. Now I do have a class three micro SD card, a Samsung one that I use in my DJI. So I think we will do the test on that and then see, uh, see how that compares to the uh, class one SD card and the standard one. So interestingly, you need to make sure you put it in right. Don't put it in like this because that's how you'd expect because the, the label is already facing that way. But usually they go in the opposite way around. So they face away from the unit on the uh, the side of the actual SD card slot. So obviously the micro one, micro SD card faces that way and the SD card faces the opposite direction to it. Okay, so let's open a couple more windows up again. And I'm just going to use exactly the same file once I've got these up. And I'm just going to transfer for the second test using a class free micro SD card. Uh, so again, let me just delete that and then drag the file across from the SD card onto my MacBook Pro like so. Set off the uh, stopwatch going. And let's see what we get here. And like I say, in previous tests, when I've done this, um, I was doing a couple of dry runs, as it would be, the um, speeds were exactly the same, or the time was roughly the, the same. So it's sort of between the, uh, like I said, the 40 to 45 second mark. Um, I think I had one a touch longer, um, but I don't know if that was because my MacBook was busy at the time. But I'm expecting this, even though it's a different class card. Um, I, like I say, I think it's being restricted by the hub or my MacBook, whichever one it is. Uh, but they were both coming up pretty much identical times. Um, so let's just see what happens here. So I'm expecting this to be out at the 45 second mark with this particular file. And it looks like it is going to be, yeah. 44 45 seconds so uh, that was for, again exactly the same file size 4.25 but that was using a class 3 micro sd card instead of a class 1 sd card okay so that is the end of my review and look at the acasa 14 in 1 uh, usb hub hope you liked the video if you did please do hit the uh, thumbs up please do subscribe to my channel and hit me up with any comments below they are truly really appreciated and thanks again for watching the computer lab on youtube and hopefully i'll see you in the next video